As for me in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with a vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This Mass is offered for Francis Murphy. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all for the faith they profess are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O Lord, we conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light and the land of shades give birth. The word of the Lord. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, in your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, and it is time to pity her. 
for her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, from heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generations to come, and let his future creature praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, I warmly welcome you to this Mass this morning, and say thank you for coming. The Word of God today is speaking to us about consolation. Rest. I will comment very briefly upon the gospel. First is that uh, Jesus was speaking in the context of what was happening then. The Jews, the rabbis, and the Pharisees had loaded the people with the Jewish law that had burdened them. 613 rules and regulations. This was too much. When Jesus came, he says, I have another proposal that is lighter. And he says, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus' option is better. Through his saving word and the sacraments, He says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and indeed it is light. Each of us, in a way, has a yoke, has a burden that we carry in our lives. We are struggling in some way. But if we want to grow into greater holiness, Jesus' option is better. Sacraments and the saving word. And so let us commit ourselves to this. The world can offer other options like drugs. Other people can take on drugs. Other people can think of other options. I think I can try pornography. Again, they end up hurting themselves. 
and other options in life as a way of trying to look for rest. These are different options, but don't, they don't give lasting rest. Jesus' option will give us rest in this world and rest even in life to come. Let us open our hearts to receive this rest and share this secret with other people that don't seem to know it, that are trying to waste time in other options that, you know, that will not give them the rest that they are looking for. pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that the sacrament of the anointing of the sick confer to those who receive it and their loved ones the power of the Lord and become ever more a visible sign of compassion and hope for all. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For Cardinal Sean, our Archbishop, and all the bishops, that they may exercise their ministry with supernatural courage and fidelity. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God to build a culture of life beginning with natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who hunger for meaning and purpose in our daily lives, that our needs will be satisfied by turning to Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the soldiers on active duty and the first responders, that they persevere in faith with courage, hope, and strength, nourished by Jesus, the living bread. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved who have gone before us, may they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember Francis Murphy, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers and answering them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Mm -hmm. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every heart give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have failed us rather to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go forth in Christ. <laughs>